Hey guys, Alderman Rio here for the Pig Perspective. I am your Friday host. Uh, this week's topic is located down below. Um, we've got a really good question, actually. I don't think I've ran across anything like this so far in the Pig Perspective about our ideal community. Um, and like Yucca, I, I do feel like in real life just basically means face to face. I mean, I uh, I'm a big fan of um, massively multiplayer online games, and when we use the IRL. I, IRL, we mean in real life, and we mean any kind of activity take, that, that, that takes place outside of the massively multiplayer game. Like, for example, if anybody's playing, like, Second Life or something, we always say, in our in real life, we have this, or in or, or IRL, we have that. So, like her, I'm a bit, you know, I find it a bit weird that we mention um, in real life when we're trying to talk about things that are face to face so that's 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 different for me I don't know if the younger community has taken to using that when they mean away from the computer because I I do feel like you know that the computer communications is real um, you know there's a number of really good Wiccan schools online and I feel like those are most certainly real I mean, I've studied at one of them before and uh, your energy changes your aura changes Sens sensitives can still see that you're studying Wicca uh, when you study from those schools, believe me, I know uh, people were able to tell that I was studying, even though I was studying online and working with a, with a school. I didn't stay with the school, so I didn't graduate from the school, but people were able to tell that, that I w was studying. It does have an energetic effect, and it is real. Um, but if I were to build my community from the ground up, oh my gosh, like I've actually been giving a lot of thought to this because we had a question that asked us if we would build our own school would we do it? And at the time, uh, you know, times were turbulent back then, but oh my gosh, are they turbulent now? I made the decision that yes, I would most certainly start a school. You know, it's basically building a community, right? I mean, you know, one is for people who are growing from, you know, child to adult, and then the other one um, is, you know, it sounds like they're talking about a community as in like a living community. So um, I, when planning for the school, we did plan to offer boarding so we did do a lot of thought um with what think what well, what we would have in this community and to be completely honest this conversation is something that's very long it's going to be a process and i asked a few of my friends and i decided that the first thing i would do is i would form a council and i actually am very um I'm, I'm looking forward to carrying this out so at some point in the future um and i do plan to to extend the invitation to people here on the pig perspective I, I believe the council would need career pagans people have been pagan for a long time perhaps a few people that were born into paganism um I, I you know i would love the council to have a few people who have changed from christian or whatnot into paganism i think it's important because you know, with with having a solid council, that council can come up with all kinds of things as far as cultures, as far as teaching methods, um, all kinds of things. I think it's so important, but I would even be very open to inviting um, people from the pagan perspective, uh, especially the ones that are part of the foundation of the pagan perspective, ones that have, you know, built this thing up um, from the ground up and have been familiar faces that you guys have seen uh, for years. I mean, such as Cora. Um, Yucca, Megan, you know, people like that who have been here since the beginning. I would love to have them be on a council and help uh, form, um, you know, a, a, a school and then build out the community. Um, as far as workshops and things, like, like I said, it's such a complicated issue. We would have to elect, um, you know, governors or overseers of particular faiths that's going to be in the community and have them create their own teams and keep teaming this thing until it's teamed all the way down to uh you know all the way down to the receptionist or or it's teamed all the way down to to the to the food court area because i want um broad strokes to be painted with this community like i want to be able to you know hit most of the most of the community um and i would love to have multiple denominations of paganism being in this community i, I think it would be quite enlightening to, to be able to have Native American representation. I would love to have Afro-American, Afro-Caribbean um, um, representation. Obviously, we would have Wicca and other European um, 
types of paganism represented. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, that's going to be a huge part of you know paganism because you know the European religions, to me, they form from the bulk of what you find in America. But I don't want to leave out you know some fringe Asian. Uh, religions as well. I'm like, as you know me, I'm, I'm a big fan of anime. I'm, big, I'm a big anime geek, and I've been talking to you guys a lot about Asian mysticism. I've been bringing up samurai magic. I've been bringing up ninja magic and their oni, aka demons, and how they interact with them. Uh, so I definitely want to have, um, you know, kind of a uh, an area or outpost where if someone is Asian and pagan and they wanted to dive into something that's a little bit more tied to their ethnicity, I want to have you know, alternative esoteric Buddhism available. I want to have different shades of Shintoism in there so they can work with their deity. So again, as you can see, this thing can get quite complicated and like start to extend out like a tree or, or a menu, like a smorgasbord of different things. And this is why I would, would form the council first and the council would start to elect different governors or overseers of different, of different uh, d denominations of paganism. Um, you know, we would even go so far as to uh, work very heavily in security again because my first concerns uh, when I answered the earlier question uh, a few years ago about starting a pagan school security to me is a top priority because I feel like we already have uh, as a pagan as a member of the pagan community then LGBT community we have targets on our back uh, people want to hurt us because we don't practice or pray or, or even acknowledge their particular God so I think it's important that you know these things be thought about thoroughly i would almost say it would take a year or more just to plan things out before we even break ground um you know you know selecting a site would be one of the things we would do in the first year but definitely we have to plan this thing out plan it plan it plan it um you know if even if money were no object even if you know we had an endless amount of supply and it was funded 100 percent, we would still need to take about a year form the council hire these mayors overseers of different religious backgrounds figure out how much space is going to every community um find out you know just how much square footage that we need we have to create a list of how many de de denominations we're going to squeeze in there then we have to you know check legal things so just so many questions that go into this but i would love to be able to have open circles i would love to be able to have an open hall so that way different denominations can rent out that way different denominations can rent out the hall and meet with the mundane public who come in to learn about each individual de denomination's practices. Um, because I think it's a beautiful thing when you can bring in outsiders and then sometimes you get outsiders who, who have a calling. You know, their spirit guides have called them to join you and your particular uh, denomination of paganism. So I hope that answers the question, guys. Um, I feel like it's a very complicated question, and for me, it's a very hard one to answer because I, because because I feel like it's preparation. It's so much preparation to get this thing done right if you're going to build your own pagan community, especially if you're going to build a, a school that is multicultural and has, um, you know, and you know, in broad strokes, because I feel like you're not going to be able to represent everybody. But if you can get main broad strokes out there and cover ethnicity as well because there's going to be a lot of people who come from their particular background and they may just squeeze themselves and I don't want them to have to do that but I do want to give them the option if they come to this community they can at least find something that they feel like works with them on an ethnic level and I'm per perfectly fine with people who want to um, jump into you know religions that traditionally aren't something that their ethnicity calls to like for example if you've got people who are from african-american background and they want to join the oldness uh group um, i understand that there's a lot of racism and a lot of turmoil and things but there are some oldness out there that are fine with having a having african-american or, or latino or or asian be in their community i want to provide that branch of oldness and other people that allow people in and don't bar people from joining them based off of skin color because to me i feel like if you don't want someone to be in your circle then that's a private thing it's not a community-based thing because you're select because you're cutting the community off based off of looks based off of ethnicity and i know some people i can hear you already before you even say anything out there who's going to make a comment and you're going to say hey but you know this person isn't the same color as me they don't have the same ancestors they don't have the same 
uh, uh, you know, genetic ancestors. And while that may be true on the genetic level, you never know what their spirit um, has done. I've seen people who, who their first life on earth was actually an Asian life, and they haven't yet had another life in an Asian body since, and they've reincarnated four times, four or five times, guys. So we have to understand that there's more than just skin color. Like these, literally, the body that you see me in, the body that you're breathing through as you look at me on your TV, on your screen, what have you, that is literally, to me, it's nothing more than a fleshy computer vessel. Like it's literally just holding your spirit to give, to give you the ability to have new influences while you're here. And once this thing dies, I'm going to be given the option to move on into an energy body for holding and then eventually get to my own, uh, you know, another flesh jacket, as it were, that may have another ethnicity. So don't always be so quick to judge based off color. In my opinion, it's just my advice. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I, but, but, but you are here for, you know, a perspective. And that's mine. And I, I believe that we should be open to accepting all ethnicities uh, because you never know what their spirit was connected with. You may be talking to someone who was the highest Odinist that that existed in the world, but he just happened to be, happens to be in in a black or brown skin today. So be careful with trying to bar people um, out. Now, again, if you are running a private closed community, by all means, that's that's your closed community. But if it's going to be an open community for everyone, then I I feel like it needs to be accepting. You know, you can have your closed stuff. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I digress. I hope that answers the question for you guys. I will see you guys back here next week on the Pegging Perspective. Uh, Mercury retrograde is starting next week. However, a lot of the people I know are feeling the effects early. So do what you can. Remember to take your stones with you. Whatever rituals you have, please be safe. Um, this month is crazy as it is. And I think we have a number of, a of astrological things. I think there's an there's a eclipse or something happening next week, too, along with Mercury retrograde. So... Be careful, be careful, be careful, prepare. I want to see your pretty faces back here safe next week on The Paid Perspective. Blessed be.